Hi guys, this is Grace from Design Sponge, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I advise people to start planning the transition from part-time side business to full-time job. And I'll talk a little bit about making sure that you're armed with the information you need before making the big jump. The first thing is to remember that going full-time is a gradual process and should never be something that you leap into blindly. I hear from a lot of people who say, I just quit my job and I'm going to block full time now. And it always really scares me because I think sometimes planning and making that decision gradually rather than just jumping in is a much better decision. And the reason for that is when you make that, that move too quickly, you put so much stress on yourself and on your business. And it often leads to really rushed decisions and overly flexible ethics. You're going to find yourself saying yes to things and, and do, making decisions with your business just because you need to pay the bills. And that's not where you want to be. You want to be in a place where you can make decisions because it's what you believe in and what's right for your business. And one thing to keep in mind is that there's a big trade-off when you go full-time. You're probably, for the most part, in the beginning, going to give up a lot of the comfort and the money and the stability that you're used to. There's no regular monthly paycheck. No one's paying insurance anymore. All those sorts of things disappear. But you get a really amazing trade-off for that, and that is a really improved quality of life and the freedom to set your own schedule and to work on your own terms and your own time. And I think a lot of people are scared of this move because they think, maybe I'm not the most skilled or the most experienced person in my niche. But honestly, at the end of the day, you could be the most talented person in your field. And if you don't have the passion and the motivation to make your business work and be a success, it's never going to happen. And that's because at the end of the day, you might have to work till two and the three, two or three in the morning for weeks in a row just to make something happen and pull everything together. And talent alone doesn't help you do that. You have to want this more than anything in the world. And after reading through some of your responses and reading your questions, it sounds like so many of you have that drive. And that's going to be a key factor for making your business work. Now, the main key factor for making your business work is knowledge. And I think it's important that people shouldn't be afraid to look at the numbers and get real about your business. I think artists especially have a hard time for this because it's not quite as romantic as the idea of just quitting and doing art all day, which is wonderful and you can get to that point. But in order to get there, you really need to look before you leap. And for me, this means meeting with a business advisor, meeting with a lawyer, an accountant, and anyone else who can help answer your questions, whether that's an advisor or someone else you work with separately, because all of the issues and the concerns that you have need to be dealt with before you make that leap. And the reason for that is it really prevents you from wasting time and energy on all of that worrying. I spent so much time the first year or two at Design Sponge really freaking out about whether or not I could make it work, whether or not I could pay my bills, knowing where I stood within the industry and what I should do with my taxes and how I should you know, claim the business. The more time that you spend getting all that information done and all those ducks in a row before you start, you're going to have so much more energy and brain power left over to focus on the important decisions that you have to make for your business. And the great thing about trying to find this information these days is that so much of it exists for free on the internet already. You can find information about health insurance and business advice, contract advice, manufacturing. All sorts of information exists for free online. The Etsy.com forums are amazing for manufacturing information. I browse there randomly just to try to help people who I'm friends with find information about where they should be printing things for wallpaper, where they can find you know, producers of melamine plates for their collections. That sort of information exists online as well as some things and companies to avoid working with, which I find is really helpful. And then there are tons of blogs, both design and not design based, that give away free business advice. So it's one of your early tasks if you're going to try to leave your regular full-time job to pursue your own business, to get online and research and take advantage of all the free advice that's out there. So in my next video, I will be sharing my tips for staying focused while you're processing all this online information and trying to run your own successful business. I'll also be providing more details on the Design Sponge Consulting services which are set to launch soon. Thanks for listening, and I'll talk to you soon.